Hello, today I'm just going to be going over how I converted a edge group like this, which is just the hard edges selected by this uh, group node, and into the corresponding exterior edges right here, where the faces are sort of obtuse, versus the interior edges where they're um, acute or facing inwards. So first, the simple way to do this is by using a measure saw. So this has some problems that I'll go over. So here I'm, uh, what the measure is returning is just the curvature. So you'll see that on these interior points, let me go to the geometry spreadsheet, you see that these interior points um, have a negative curvature and the exterior points have a positive curvature. And the problem you run into is when you have a point like this, which has uh, both types of edges. So here I've got two interior edges and one exterior edges, and this is causing the curvature to be slightly positive. So the result of that when I go to select based off the curvature is that I get proper exterior edges, but the interior edges, these are not um, being selected properly, you can see. So the exterior edges are proper, but the interior edges are not because this is a positive value. So the solution around this is that I'm just going to operate on the vertices instead of the points so that each one will be dependent of the next prim. Uh, this is a bit of a brute force method, but it works and I'm not operating on super huge uh, meshes. So I'm gonna go over this on a simple model first, just the idea. So the basic principle is that I've got two primitives right here, and I'm operating on the vertices, so I've got a corner group of vertices, and that's these four vertices right here. And I'm getting the uh, center of the primitives, and I'm going to get the normal of the primitives, and then I'm going to get the angle, or the vector from the uh, position, the center of the first primitive to the center of the second primitive, which would be this vector right here. And I'm going to get the dot product of these two vectors. And since the this angle is facing sort of backwards, you can see the normal vector is here and this point is backwards behind this primitive based on this normal. Uh, this is going to return a negative value since the vectors point away from each other. So it's the dot product will be negative. Whereas if I have the opposite scenario, where they, here are the centers, I get the vector right here, and this is a primitive normal. You'll see that these two vectors face towards each other like this, so the dot product will be positive, and that tells me that, okay, this is an interior edge. All right, so now I'm gonna go over the actual implementation. So in VEX, you can see the first thing I'm doing is I'm getting the half edge, so I'm looping over all the vertices in this corner group. So let's say, for example, this is the first vertex, so the half edge of this vertex, um, this will return one of the half edges, so half edges have orientation, so that could either be this half edge or this half edge, depending on which way they're going. So we don't know which way, so that's why I'm doing this next check, so I'm getting the destination vertex, so that could either return this vertex right here or this vertex right here. And then I'm checking to see if this vertex is in the corner group. And if it is in the corner group, uh, it's fine. That means I've selected the correct half edge. But if it's not in the corner group, for example, this one right here, that means that the half edges are oriented this way and that we need to select the previous half edge. So that's what's happening right here. <coughs> And then after that, I'm just getting the next, the equivalent half edge, which will be just the half edge on the other primitive. And this is gonna, uh, that's the data I need to get the corresponding primitive. So that's gonna get me this primitive number and this primitive number, which I'm storing in prim one and prim two. Then I'm getting the normal of the first primitive. So that would be this normal right here. And then I'm getting the position, the center positions of both primitives. And then I'm getting the direction between primitive one and primitive two. I'm getting the dot product of these two vectors right here. And then I'm just doing a comparison to see if it's negative or positive and then setting the groups based on that. The source point is just the point that this vertex corresponds to. So that'd be a point right here. But then for the destination point in the edge group, I'm 
uh, getting using the hedge uh, destination point function because if I were to use the destination vertex that I specified up here, that could be either this vertex potentially. So I want to make sure I'm selecting the destination of the properly selected edge. So that's basically all I'm doing. And then this does have one artifact from it, which is if I set this to show the interior corner right here, you can see that this edge is getting selected and that's because these vertex, both of these vertices uh, are in the corner group. So I can just get rid of this by doing a quick group intersection. And that's all. So I hope this was helpful.